okay, okay. Crew show, Power 106, yeah. the 818 is in here, man. Yeah. Panorama City is in here right now. Panorama City. Listen, man, our brother Hobson is in here right now. Crew show. Hobson, what up? What's up, man? I am back up in here. Yeah, this man. This is home for you. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the last time we saw you, Crystal and I ran into you at the g Easy show yeah, backstage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you yep. walked up to me and you were like, yo, Cruz, I got to come up there. I got to I, I gotta uh, make sure the air is clear. I think those mm-hmm. were the words. Yes, that's right? exactly Yeah, that's exactly what I said to explain so, the whole situation of what's been going down. Listen, start start from the from the very beginning what happened very, fill us very in. Beginning. here we go yeah fill us in because listen i'd hate to um to uh to start and and me get some facts wrong all right here. yeah so i just want to make sure they get it from the source okay okay <laughs> so let's see the very beginning it all kind of started like around the time when the funk volume 2015 tour started okay and you know i started to just that i i've been kind of a a blinded artist who didn't ask questions my whole career. Right, right. Why was that? Were you just I mean, happy for the opportunity? Yeah, because you know when you, when you when you're young and coming into the game, you, yeah. you just want to you just want your music to be out there. Sure. So you you don't really put your mind into the, the whole, business side. Yeah, of the things. business side. Yeah. yeah. But you know, as I as I started getting older, you know, I started questioning more. So you should. Once I once I went on that tour. I started questioning a lot. I was like, man. But Hobson, did you start seeing on? stuff and hearing stuff yeah, that no, you that, weren't comfortable with? No, yeah, that's that's what it was. It, so it um because I went on the tour and we went on the tour because me, Dizzy Wright, and Jaren had released the album. Mm-hmm. And before I go into this story, let me just say that I got love for Dizzy Wright, Jaren sure, Benton, sure. Swizz, and DJ we had, Hopper. We had Dizzy here yeah, um a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. So they, these guys are brothers and they'll always be my brothers it's for all life. Love. That's just how it is. So um yeah, and it has nothing to do with them. This this all has to do with my business partner Damian Ritter. Wow. Um, so w- once I went on the tour, you know, I started questioning everything because I noticed I was on the tour and he didn't tell me what I was going to get paid on the tour until okay. I was out, until I was on the tour and I had to actually oh, wow. ask him. Okay. So, okay. so there was so you no, you didn't ask up front. Do you have no, management hops in? No, or no, the it? thing was he, so he was my manager. Ah. He's been playing the accountant. Okay. He's Ooh. been playing the label okay. owner. He's been, He's been, playing, been playing everything. everything. Yeah. That yeah. could be and a little you know, weird. That could be, that, that could get sticky. Yeah. And you know, it, and it was cool when, when you're starting out and you, and you know, you don't know how the rap game works. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's a lot to take in, right? Yeah. 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 So and you're from the Valley, bro. We don't get opportunities like yeah, this. Yeah. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So I started questioning things like, okay, um, how is the, how is the money split going to go down and all that? And it just seemed kind of fishy. You know what I'm saying? I was sure. like, okay, it, it's weird that you put a, you put a grown man out on this tour you didn't tell me how much i'm getting paid and you're already mid tour yeah 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 and then you know there was a lot of stuff going on with the way you know um things were being ran on the tour so Mm -hmm. i just kept asking more and more questions and damien just he he was so uncomfortable with me asking these questions see that's weird and no and and i and as a businessman i feel like when you're doing business with anybody, you you should be able to ask questions like, "Yo, yeah, well, if we, if we start a business, yeah. and, and it should Hobson, be comfortable, no bad vibes." You should have no questions. You're the talent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. They, they should, should tell you everything, everything up front what's happening, so mm-hmm. you can go on stage and do the best possible job you yeah. can do without all of that clouding your head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we're out on this tour, you know, I'm, and I'm and I'm and I see that you know the um, payment structure of what he sent me when I asked him. Was something that he just kind of created, and it, and I and I didn't know what it was based off of. I didn't okay. know if it was based off of our last tours. So you didn't agree so, on numbers at so, all. So and it it was just I wanted to see proof. Where where did you get these numbers from? So if it says I'm making X amount of money and the other guys making X amount of money, I just want to know where did you get this from? Mm-hmm. You know, don't just make up numbers. Mm-hmm. And but but he also he always you have the showed right dis- to ask that. By yeah the way. yeah. So he all he always showed discomfort. And I'm 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 really like one of the only ones on the label who who ask questions like that. <laughs> so then it you know um. And and I I tried to push the other guys on the tour to kind of ask those questions as well, just right. to be like, yo, we we need to um, we need to, we need to start questioning things. We can't just roll with these things. And mm-hmm. you know, Damien had ne- negotiated a, a deal with Warner Brothers with us. Like it, it was a it was a distribution deal. Okay. And which is uh, which is for those who don't know, it's a it's a minimal deal, right? Yeah, it's a mi- it's a minimal deal, but they still promised a lot of things. And I'm not exactly sure where where the problem was, but there were things promised that just never really happened so i i I was expecting to see a a huge benefit in being with them sure and it was just can you say the same as it can i say what can you say what some of the promises were i mean they it was just that you know they 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 were going to promote the album and give it a bigger reach and everything and that didn't happen Mm -hmm. that didn't happen we didn't we didn't get any late night tv shows we weren't we we didn't do anything that we haven't done before in the past right. on our own on just own, being independent sure. working out of our our, our houses yeah you know and what that I'm can saying? be frustrating because now you have this big machine behind you and, and now they're taking more money as well sure. and now yeah. we're and and so i was just uh, and you know damien had it damien was the front man for all this for all this stuff mm-hmm. so i just kept asking questions and and things just weren't making sense so then i just came to conclusion towards the end of the tour like mm-hmm. yo I, I need a new manager 
And, you know, I came to that conclusion. Jaron Vinton that came to that conclusion. Dizzy Wrighthead. We all we all agreed, like, yo, we need a new manager because... As a group. As a, yeah, as, yeah, because Damian was managing all of us. Oh, okay. wow. And, and he's picking... And he's deciding how much money we're making. Mm-hmm. And... It just felt weird without even so, talking to you guys yeah, about yeah. money. So though. he would how much money he's making. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, so then yeah, when yeah, I he gets and a then, paycheck, yeah, no, no. So then and he and he wasn't on the tour. Um, so then when I got off the tour, you know, we all agreed that we we amongst ourselves, the artists, like, yo, we we need new managers. We need to get a new manager, someone who's of the culture of hip hop, because so no one was happy. It wasn't just you. No, nobody was happy. Okay, no, I don't but care you kind of brought it, it to everybody's attention. Oh, yes, yes, because yeah. Like, yeah, because you know, I understand when you're when you're a rapper. You don't. You're not thinking about those kind right. of things, and I, and I'm yeah, and no, I'm just not. trying because you know you I don't have to. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, you know, in the in the long run, you know, I, I want to. I'm aiming for greatness, so I want to be one of those artists who just know the whole game. I don't sure. want to. I don't want to be blinded, yes. but I also want to help them as well. Yes, yes. So yes. That, really that, quick, Hobson, can 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 I rewind? You said someone of the hip hop culture. Yeah, he, yeah. You, let me let me let me okay, um, let me go in on that. So what I mean by that is, pretty much, if you t- it's like taking grandma to a club okay. and then telling her to do the the. The dab or something. She ain't gonna right. know what that is. Mm-hmm. She ain't never even heard of that. Right. So right. Da- Damien is that guy where it's like he he's he stepped into this world and he started overstepping by trying to by thinking he he was P Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Thinking he was Dr. Dre. Right. Thinking that he made us. Thinking that he knew the formulas, but he didn't really understand anything. Mm-hmm. He's 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 more he's his main thing of what he went to school for and what he knows how to do is just. T- trying to capitalize off of everything, monetize anything, monetize yeah yeah, yeah okay, everything. Okay. So, so 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 he's. Are you calling him greedy? Oh, def most definitely, yeah. most definitely. But don't so, you have to be that so, a little? Don't you say what? Don't you have to be that oh, yeah, a little? Don't no, you yeah, want somebody no, but, in your but, corner? But when you're but but when it to the point where it starts killing the art form? Yeah. No, because because the art is what makes the money. So yes. that we you you focus on the art first, mm-hmm. and then focus on the ways to monetize everything in the in the in the best way. But yep. he but. Some things he would do, it started, it started like the art started losing value because it, because we're doing all these other things and and I noticed that. So, yeah, like I said, we get off the tour. He he sent me the splits of what what everything was, the breakdowns, and he was and he was supposed to walk away with fifty thousand dollars. And instantly, I'm like fifty thousand dollars. You were not even on the tour. Damn. Yeah. You weren't even there. Fifty thousand dollars. We were on the, we were on Wait. tour for two months. Fifty thousand dollars. That's a lot. Yeah, and I'm like lot. like <laughs> like. I mean, I, I could see if he was getting you guys these amazing so, opportunities. Yeah, then, so yeah. No, I, I, now I'll, I'll be happy. I'll be like, oh, I'll be like, yo, yeah, yeah, yo, I blew up. Look at my, look how, yeah, like here, take, but nothing happened. Wow. So fifty thousand dollars, I was really uncomfortable with that. Sure. And like I said, I'm the only one who was questioning things because I didn't like that. Uh-huh. So, do you feel like he was stealing from you? Oh, most definitely was. Now, I don't think he was going, ha ha, I'm going to steal from him. Right. I think he really thinks he's doing the right thing in his mind. He, he I think ah, he thinks so he that, deserves it. So, he, in in his mind, he thinks that it's it's the right way to go, and, um, yeah. So he, so I don't, I don't think he's just like trying to be evil. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't understand. He what's, doesn't know. He doesn't. He he can't really see what's going on. So I expressed to him that I wanted a new manager. He was very uncomfortable with that. Mm-hmm. He was extremely uncomfortable with oh, that, yeah. which made me well, uncomfortable. There's a cut gone now. Yeah, yeah. Because and you know I I made I made him a lot of money a year. You know, by by him being my manager. Sure. So when I when I expressed to him that I wanted to do ma- a new manager, he was he was so uncomfortable with it. Like he 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 got he got mad at me. And is that when you knew you thought or 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 did you know right then and there that you were making the right decision? Um. What? When I I'm mean, leaving I, him? No, but I wasn't gonna leave him at that at that point because it was no. I I didn't hate him or anything. It was uh-huh. just more of like as a, as a businessman, I just want a new manager sure. to help my career get to a new level. Nothing wrong with right. that. Yeah. Nothing against you. But, but that's. But like I said, he's he's very money hungry. He's very greedy. So he realizes because I make I made um about eighty five percent of the money in Funk Volume. So him being my manager, he was just profiting off that wow. like crazy. Wow. So wow. he didn't like that. So he 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 began to express like negative feelings and thoughts towards me. He started saying I don't work hard, but in a, not not in a way where it's like, yo, man, I think you can go a little harder. You know, it was right. it was in a disrespectful way to belittle me. Like, to your face? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, we we were on the phone like because I, I would, we always communicated over the phone most of the time. So mm. he he called me. He was like, Hop, you know, to, to be honest, Hop. I mean, you want a new manager and everything, <laughs> Hop, and and I mean. It, it, nothing's really gonna happen. I mean, it, it's it's you, Hop. You, you're the problem. Wow. You're the problem, Hop. I mean, Damn. to be honest, Hop, you're the problem. To be honest, Hop, you don't you don't even work hard, Hop. I mean, <laughs> oh, compa- oh, compared oh, to wow. every other rapper in the game, Hop, you you wow. you honestly work about hmm, I'd say um about twenty percent as hard as every other rapper in, in the rap game. Twenty percent. Is this dude white? 
He's half black, half white. Okay. So he, when he said that, I was gonna say that's a light skin. That, that's light skin talk. That, <laughs> <laughs> that's a light skin so, move. He's so trying when, to make you feel insecure, though. Yeah. yeah. So, like, so when, you need and, him. and you know, and that and that really hurt me when he said that because I just said I wanted a new manager, and um, and the fact that he would state that that sucks. I've, I've been I've been rapping since I was fourteen years old, and I put so much time, energy. You know, I've I've, I've directed all my videos, I've edited all my videos, my man, my man. I've, I've I've produced all my music, mixed and mastered it. I live in the studio. Mm-hmm. I actually live in the studio. Mm-hmm. So when you he said, made Hobson, he didn't. Make I, no, I, I I made Hobson. Yeah. And stop, and on top of that, I made Funk Volume. Like it was it was my it was my thing. So when he said that, I was just really hurt. So he said it that one time, and then. Um, about a week later, he he said it again. Mm-hmm. He said it again, like Hobson, you don't work hard. I'm sorry, you just don't work hard. And I'm like, dude, you're, wow. but you're you're damn near rich off of me. What do you mean I don't work hard? <laughs> and I'm and I'm the only one that's contributing that amount of money to his to his lifestyle to make yeah. him live the life that he's living. So then, you know, um, later, um, I mean, and around like a few days after Christmas, we all got on a, a conference call with everybody on, on Funk Volume because we didn't want the label to end. And everybody kind of knew me and Dame had like bad vibes. Yeah. But I wasn't on some, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't really hate him. I was just like very uncomfortable with him. I wanted a new manager. So then on on that call, once again, he stated how I don't work hard. Like he stressed in front of everybody, in front of, in front of, in front of everybody. Yeah. So the thing about so this, this is, time it's different. This, now this, yeah. now you can, you now you can ask anybody. Ooh. You can ask Swizz. You can ask Dizzy. You can ask Jaren. This man was in the wrong. Asked him. They'll probably be up here again. Asked him, was Hobson lying? They'll agree this with you. This man was in the wrong from the way that he said that. He just, com- it's like he had Tourette's the way he did it. Mm-hmm. And at that moment. He couldn't I, wait to say he, it. He, like he really couldn't. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and Dizzy has specifically told him before the call, don't disrespect Hobson because he does not like that. Mm-hmm. So, he and he did it. So what that showed me at that point was, okay, we are all here as grown men trying to talk to to fix everything and he he just can't handle it mm-hmm. so something's wrong with him he has an issue mm-hmm. and if he's if he's half owner of funk volume taking um 50 of the label's money and he's playing the the lawyer the negotiating things the accountant the manager and he's and he has this much power i can't work with this guy no more if he's going to think this way because he it makes me uncomfortable and it also makes me it it doesn't motivate me mm-hmm. i can't be around that type of energy so Instantly, I flipped. I was like, "I'm done." Right I'm, then I'm and done. there. I'm right then On and the there. Phone? At that moment, good, at the, good. oh yeah, yeah. I, I I was so I was so good, heated because at that point it's just disrespect, yeah, man. Yeah, So and and I know the other the other um like everybody clearly saw right there. Like it it was 100 percent fact. Mm. Damian Ritter was in the wrong. I was not in the wrong. I swear to God, I put that on my mother. I was not in the wrong, and everybody will agree who was on that phone call. So. Um, and the energy after that was just like, whoa! Did da- did Damien really just say that? Like it was like, whoa! Ooh. So Dizzy, was everybody looking did, at each other? Like, I mean, whoa. we're on the call, so oh, I mean, you're on the call. That's, probably, right, that's I mean, right. They probably looked on Instagram right yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> <at that. laughs> right, I don't right. know. I pulled up a picture, like man, I don't, I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> so um, instantly, I went to I went to social media, and I know everybody doesn't like the other guys in the label. They they understood why I was mad, but they didn't fully understand why I went to social media with it. And mm-hmm. I did that to set it in stone. I was so done with him. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to go. I knew if I went to social media, I'm not, I'm not never in my whole life going to go back on my you word. You won't let it happen I, again. And, and yeah, I, like, yeah. I, I just wanted it to be set in stone. Like, I, I wanted him to know this is non-negotiable. So, you screwed it up. The man who makes you all your money, it is done. It's a wrap for life. I will never work with this man again. Has anyone ever called you lazy or you didn't work hard before? In your no. career, have you ever heard anyone say that to you? No, I mean, there's, there's, people, there's people who give constructive criticism going, yo, that sure. song. You know, you could have went like a little that. harder. Yeah, but the, but yeah. they do it in a way where they're trying to help me. Yes. Right. I, like, yes. like th- this would be like me telling you, dude, why are you up here, man? You don't even do this good. What are you even exactly. why, why are you even interviewing people? Like, this yo, is like, Hobson, wait a second. Yeah, you're, trying to, you're trying to help me. Yeah, yeah, you're trying, and, yeah. and this is, yes. It, and so I, w- I was done at that point. And overall, the thing is, like, the um the other the other guys in the label, the other team members, yeah, there's a lot that they don't know because I was I was half I I, I was half owner of Funk Volume. So I saw all of the 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 paperwork behind everything, mm-hmm. everything, mm-hmm. like they they don't see that they don't have access to that they only have Why? access to no because I'm Your owner because I'm the owner him. I'm the owner That's so right. I, I I get I get I get the I see what's on the back you see end. the books yeah 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 so he's playing people's managers lawyers and this and that and it and it's so wrong because he doesn't give them the option like when the contract comes in he always just had it, he's like he always just send, sends it to us going here sign that yeah um it's just to um basically just says that you know you guys can whatever do this and that and we always just went oh cool yeah sign it because sign we, it. we okay. trusted him mm-hmm. but 
a lot of those things were setups were to to secure himself yes. in something. And now you, and you know what, what's weird when I when after that phone call, you know, New Year's hit, I was done. I hit him up. I said, look, I I, I wrote him an email. I said, you need to leave Funk Volume or I'm leaving. I was like, what's it gonna be? I would I would Damn. I would prefer I would prefer it if you left, so all all of us artists can stay together and and just keep Funk Volume going. Mm -hmm. He said, "Well, I'm not leaving, so wow. I'm definitely not leaving." So, but what about so, and, the rest of the team? And though? this is what's stupid. What is Funk Volume without Hobson? Because I started the label. Let's I've been go. rapping this name since I was 19 years old. This is this is that this I is created yours. It. That mm -hmm. used to be my rap name. Mm -hmm. Funk Volume is mine. Yeah, yeah. He didn't want to let it go, so he's thinking that the other guys are gonna want to stay if I left, which doesn't make sense. Like what? Because it, I mean, and and it, and it could make sense if it wasn't called Funk Volume or something else, or if it, if I didn't make the label, mm -hmm. but. I created it and everybody knows that. So instantly they're like, if Hobson's, like I left. So then Dame, he thinks that it's still going to go like, oh guys, we can still keep still this going, right? It. <laughs> they're like, I'm, I'm not repping like, right. funk volume if Hobson's not a part of it. Like we're just going to look stupid. Yeah. So then he destroys the name. Funk volume's gone now. Like the name, like he just wanted it. So now the business is gone. And then the thing is, he's always. He he just wanted Dizzy right now. Now he's managing Dizzy, and and the thing is like, yo, aren't you pulling Dizzy aside and saying, yo, no, and this, this and this is, and this is what man, it's it's put a, it's I'm not gonna lie, it's put like a barrier up between me and Dizzy. Me yeah, and Dizzy I can are see me that. and Dizzy are cool, yeah, but he's still working. It's but not the same anymore. It, no, and and it, and it can't be the same. It and I'm I'm, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna reach out to him. You know, I I still text him, and I'm and I still sh and you know I offered him because I'm the one who has all the money, not Dame. I'm 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 the one who who can pay for things. I'm the one who can fund these videos, sure. fund these tours. I can help them you out. You have been. Da da Damien can't. He's not, and he's not going to cut. And the thing about me is I understand art. So if I have if I have X amount of money, I'll sacrifice half of that money just for the love of music because I understand art. So whatever they, whatever Jaren needs, whatever Disney needs, I, 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 I hit him up. I said, look, I got you. It's all love. It, it don't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever you need, I got you. I don't mm -hmm. even care about no contracts, nothing like that. Like, it's, it's whatever you want it to be. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still your brother forever. Like, that, that's never going to go up. away. So I don't, Damien ain't doing that. He he completely he, get it. he 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 completely kicked Jaron Bins into the curb. He That's gives he, he doesn't care at all, That's and and crazy. that and that hurts me. Yeah, man. That he, so he just wanted Dizzy Wright. That's really what he wanted because I mean Dizzy Wright. He he's he's very marketable. You know what I'm saying? He he has he has it down, but he just he he wanted that. But on on top of that, like Dizzy, he's not gonna he's just gonna completely like brainwash Dizzy, and 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 I don't like that. So believe I'm gonna step in the way of that, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep reaching out to Dizzy to try because I want, I'm not necessarily, I mean, I would love for him to, you know, come, come on yeah. this side over here. But as here. a friend, you want to save him from that. I, I want to save him yeah. because, because if if they're trying to, you know, um, start their whole little business thing together, I, I, I just want Dizzy to know. I mm -hmm. want him to be aware of what's going on. So if Dame is like here, Dizzy, um, do this, whatever, and he's not going here, have your lawyer, get your own lawyer, get your own accountant, there get this go. and that. This, Dame is the type of person. We got a new account. We got new accountants for our record label, Funk Volume. And then I say, you know what? I want to stay with the old accountants that that we were that we used to work with because I trust him. He was like, why don't you just want to move everything into one account account mm -hmm. accounting mm -hmm. system? And I was like, no, because they're gonna work in favor of you mm -hmm. and. They're gonna be biased towards you, and then I'm just gonna get screwed, and I don't want that. My accountants are gonna look out for me, and they're gonna make sure every penny you know is accounted for, everything. Smart. And he's he, and he had such an issue with that. Of course, of course. And I'm like, what? He's so shady as hell, dog. Yeah, like, like, why would you have an issue with yeah. that? I can't have my own manager. That's weird. Without you getting mad, I can't have my own accountant. You just want to have access to everything. It's a little weird. So because, why does Dizzy, if he sees everything that you're going through in your point of view, and even the other no, guys leaving, how is no, it the that thing? Is, no, the thing is, no, me, with him? no, no, me, no. I mean, we we've all had a relationship with. With Dame, so so there there was always a level of comfort. Sure, but like I said, I I've, I've known Dame a lot longer than Dizzy has. I've known Dame since like 2007. So, um, I and for for years and years and years, I was blinded. I I shouldn't have gone 50 50 on on half the label because he when he when he when he when Funk Volume started taking off, it was me. It was my music that that made everything take off, not his marketing plans. Sure, it should have. He should have only gotten like twenty percent of the of the ownership. But when I expressed that to him when we first started Funk Volume, he was like, "Well, if it's gonna be um, twenty percent, I I honestly don't think it's worth it. I I I might have to just go back to the corporate world and start working." So he so I so he talked me into doing fifty you. fifty fifty oh, threatening man. to leave pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, it, and and then and I made him so much money now, and he and but yeah, he's gonna he's just. 
man, he's just not right. Dude. Yeah, he's I know, just not I know. right. That doesn't and, sound and, like it, bro. And, and, and like I said, I, I don't. He's not the type of person where if you see him, he's gonna be like, ha, ah, I'm gonna screw everybody in this room. Right. He just right. he's just really money hungry. The money drives him, mm-hmm. and, and he feels he makes the wrong decisions. Right, 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 he, right. And he does, and he doesn't understand the art form. Like when artists, like we. We love doing art. We want to make the best possible art that we can make. Absolutely. And we want to be comfortable, but he takes away from all that. And, like, the way I'm thinking right now, everybody, I already know. Like, some some of the dudes on the phone, they probably think I'm crazy. They probably think Do I'm they? stupid. I, I, I get that vibe. Do they think vibe. you're wilding? I get that vibe. Yeah, no, because, but the thing is, they haven't seen the back-end paperwork. So it's, it's almost like a, a marriage. When, when, when but a they child, trust when, you. They believe you, right? See, um, I, I'm... I, I know some some do I feel like some don't I don't, I don't know but it's like it's like a marriage when when a child sees their parents arguing but they don't know why the, the parents are arguing are, are planning a divorce they don't right. they don't know the details right. they're, not, they're not like oh your your mother your mother cheated on me with this guy when she went to work or this and that they just see the arguing they are they just don't right. they don't they can't really pinpoint the surface, it though. until they get older and smarter mm-hmm. so it's kind of like one of those situations where they think that I know that sometimes they think I'm wilding but I'm really not yeah man I'm really not like. And 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 people, I know, like a lot of people think I'm crazy stuff. If I was that crazy, I would not be where I'm at in my career. Mm-hmm. Like I know what I'm talking about. I can I can do everything all over again, all by myself without Damien in the picture, and and it, and, and get the same results. I right. know the formula. That can't. That's not the same thing with him. He's he's all his marketing plans are just flops. That sucks, man. Yeah. So I, I just had to get and out of there, man. He thinks he's brilliant, and, right? Yeah. No, he he thinks he's a genius. Yeah. He yeah. thinks he's he thinks he's and he's getting all the money for he it. Thinks he, yeah. he thinks he thinks he thinks he's Diddy. He, Can you put a dollar amount on how much you've made him? Um. Or is it just definite? Um. Okay. I I'd say he was grossing about half a million dollars a year off me. Wow. Oh, gosh. Just just off of me. Hobson, oh. do you want some of that back, or are you, or are you ready to? Like... No, and now now, this, now here's the crazy part. Ooh. Okay. Now this is the Ooh. now the, here, wait it gets here, crazier. Where, no, this this is the crazy part. Right. So <laughs> now in January, you know the tour is over, everything's done. I've expressed how I f- felt to him. Everybody knows Funk Volume's dead. I'm at home now. I'm just like, okay, cool. We're gonna. He he told me I don't work hard. He he thinks I don't work hard. So it should be no issue with just me leaving Funk Volume. Yeah. It's March eighth. I'm I'm or March. What is it? It's eighth. 8th. Yeah, we're in March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventh, whatever. Yeah, I'm. I'm still not off of funk volume. He won't. He won't let me. He won't let my music go. So he's holding on to it. He will not give me my album. So he's still making royalties off you and stuff. No, no, but no, but all all the money. All the the money is frozen right now. All the money is frozen until because my lawyer is going back and forth with his lawyer. Yeah, but it's as simple as like, dude. Let it, it's 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 like and I understand he put his time and effort into funk volume. Mm -hmm. We can negotiate something like here. you, You put your time. Take a little more. He wants my albums. He wants half what? of them. He still wants to. He, he still, still wants, wants to profit up. Yeah, and he's doing the most. He's and I, and the Ooh. thing about me is, I'm I'm a nice guy. I don't care. I don't want anybody else's music on the label. I don't. I'm not going, Jaren and Dizzy and Swizz. I want I want every percentage cap. Like I I get it. Like I'm cool. I'm cool. I know I'm gonna make more money. I don't need. I don't want to take anything away mm-hmm. from them. You guys take your albums. He want, he's not doing that to me. And I know why because I'm making him all the money. So that my albums made him so much money, and. He's not letting it go. And the thing is, he's been holding me back. The reason, like, I, I told the world I was going to release music late January. Mm-hmm. Late January, like, January passed, February passed, it's March now. And, my, and, you know, the lawyer kept, you know, my lawyers kept going back and forth saying, this guy's over here dragging his feet, you know, there's wow. not much. Like, and meanwhile, dra- you can't put nothing out. I can't, I mean, I, and I can put stuff out, because as of January 1st, everything that I put out was, um, it, it was going to be, it wasn't going to go towards funk volume. Mm-hmm. But the thing was... The first thing everybody's gonna ask me if I do a press run, what happened with Funk Volume? And I didn't want to go out, you know, I don't want to be asked that question without me being able to speak on it in the way that I wanted to because I knew I, I you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a musician, so I I vent through my music. Mm-hmm. So um, every all all this ever since all this stuff's been going on with the lawyers going back and forth and him dragging his feet, every day has been like I've, I've been hurting at home, man. I've, I've been in pain, just like really? dude. I, I don't like. I don't like the fact that I can't just be vocal about this yet because the lawyer's going, just wait, you know, you, yeah. you don't want to, you don't want to, um, you see, anything. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, seem yeah, you frustrated, wanna... but are you, are you depressed about it? No, I'm, dude, I've had phone volume since I was 19 years old, man. It's, it, it hurts. Yeah, like, it does. The, like, it, it really it hurts. Should, man. It, it bothers me. It bothers me more than anybody else. That, that was my label, man. Like, and he destroyed it. That was your life. Yeah, and it's gone. It's gone. Funk volume, like, it's gone because of him and he would not leave. And the fact, it, it's just, yeah, it just pissed me off. It pissed me off, man. So, yeah, every day that he was stalling, mm-hmm. that he was making me upset, that I was at home struggling, feeling pain and in darkness, 
I was adding new lines to this song that I was making, Ill Mind of Hobson 8. Every single yes. day I was like, dude, the lawyer would call me, Hop, he's still, you know, he wants to do this and that. He's not going to let go. I'm like, what? I'm going to call you back, dude. Go add another line. Right Next another day. Line. There you yeah, go. man. There you Hop, go. he's still doing it, man. He says it's going to drag out till um, the end of January. What? Oh go back at another line. February comes. Keeps on going. I'm like, dude, I just, I just built 80 some lines in this song. We, we dropping Ill Mind 8 now. <laughs> so now, and, it, and, the, and, and it, I got to the point where I'm like, dude, my life has to go on. I, I don't care. I'm, I, I understand how business works, but. I'm Hulk smashing on this fool. I can't. I can't allow this to go on because I don't nah. want. I, and and I can't allow this to happen to myself. And I don't want other artists out there who are in the world feeling like you know business. This you, like you can't stop me, man. You can't stop me. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah. I'm too raw with it. You can't stop me. I'm gonna speak how I feel in one way or another. So My you man. screwing me over. Like the whole that, world man. is gonna know. The yeah. whole world is gonna know. So yeah. I made Ill Minor Hobson Eight to let the world know what's been going on and how this man has been treating me and the rest of Funk Volume. And that's just how the story goes. You All know right. What I'm saying? Let's get into it now. Then let's do it. Let's go. Crew show. Power 106. Hell yeah. Hobson is here. 